Grant, I'll be your corner man, brother. I will be in that corner with you. I will pick up your teeth, dude. I, I'm behind you 100%. Well, someone who's been in the wars, my Bobus, he's got himself, well, what used to be a cone is now a beautiful dashing tube of sorts. Dr. Rena Cottons is here. She's gone to work on Bob. Uh, he, of course, had a little bit of a growth that appeared about two weeks ago or thereabouts. Um, tell us a little bit about what has happened to our dear little brave Bob. Okay, so Bob developed a little lump on the side of his head. We watched it and it grew and it ulcerated and so we took the choice of removing it. There was a very, very small possibility of it being cancerous. So uh, before it grew bigger or caused problems, we removed it. He was a very good boy. He didn't even need an anesthetic. We put local anesthetic in so he couldn't oh. feel it. And we removed it. We sent it to a pathologist who gave us very good news that it was not malignant and it was completely removed. We put the collar on so that he couldn't <laughs> scratch it. He hated the, the uh, cone. plastic cone, so he got <laughs> another design which he seems very happy with, and um, it is keeping him from scratching his wound. And the wound's healing beautifully. Well, you know, Bob, and I think it was the embarrassment of the cone. You know, I think that's what yes. killed him, not so much the imposition of it. Um, <laughs> but obviously, you know, we, we didn't want to worry too much about it, but with something like that, a growth that appears so quickly, you've always got to err on the side of safety. Yes, growth should be removed when in doubt. Um, they're not always malignant, but um, I think the imp two important facts. The one is there's often, it's often possible to prevent them. For example, early sterilization prevents a lot of different types of tumors, and also early diagnosis and removal prevents uh, complications. How do they form? What is the, the trigger? I know Bob does a lot of kind of nervous chewing and scratching, and is it something like that? Is there something that can lead to it? Is it just some, genetic? Some of them are genetic. So certain breeds are more likely to get certain lumps. Uh, chronic irritation can cause it, and as I said, certain hormones can also stimulate some growth. And he, and he is of an age now, so um, all the, that body is kicking into higher gear at the moment. Um, <clears throat> where do growths normally um, occur on an animal? Where can we kind of look out for those danger spots to catch them before they become a, a, a more serious problem? Um, growths can appear anywhere on the body, on the head, on the body, on the limbs. They can even grow inside, but get used to feeling along your animal's body with your hands, look for things, and anything that uh, you're suspicious of, have checked out. They don't all have to be removed. You can have an allergic reaction, which could cause a lump, or an infection, or um, warts, or certain viruses can cause lumps, or bacteria, so we don't remove all of them. But always have them checked out so that if they need to come out, they come out early before they become a problem and spread to other parts of the body. Okay, for other people who have got a recovering patient at home, um, some tips on looking after the dog. How, how long a recovery period are we looking at and, and what we, should we be doing to make sure that it heals in the best possible way? Yeah, recovery is, in a healthy dog is quick. We take stitches out uh, after about 10 to 14 days and the most important thing is for the owner to watch that the wound is healing, there's no pain and no infection. And um, we can, if it's on the body, we can even put a little t-shirt on the animals so that they can't reach it <laughs> and uh, when they're left alone use a collar like this or a cone. Where, where can you pick up a collar like this? This can be picked up at any pet shop or at your vet or you can even make one if you Creative. Oh, Bob, we might make you a dashing little collar there, boy. Shall he's pretending to sleep. He's, <laughs> he's pretending to ignore me. Well, well done for being such a brave patient, Bob. It's be over soon. Doctor, thank you so much for your, your loving, tender care with Bob. I know you really do take he, it seriously. So thank good. you so much for keeping him in the best possible health. Well done, boy. Well, Bobus is on the road to recovery, so no worries there. I wish you could have seen him, though, with his cone on. We're going to take a very quick break. Oh, then a crazy, a madcap Friday continues. I'm going to be having a chat to Carla Spencer about his upcoming fight and also talking a little bit of rugby. We'll see you on the other side. Catlejo's got nothing on Bob. Bobtail, SA's most loved dog food for strong South African dogs. Oh,